Hi there, thrill seekers. And today's old video is from August 28th, 2009 in Uvascula, Finland. I think I was at a library there. This was my first tour outside of the United States. I'd been invited to Finland to promote the Finnish version of my book, Hardcore Zen. And this talk, uh, this is in the Q&A section of the talk, and I'm answering some somewhat related questions about denial in Zen, both the denial of, as in the Heart Sutra, where it says no eyes, no ears, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, that kind of denial, and also the idea of self-denial, like the denying yourself the good things in life and, and all of that and how that works into the Zen practice. And I thought this was a, a nice little talk on the subject, so maybe you'll enjoy it. And uh, let's see what I said to the folks in Uvascula, Finland, back in 2009 in August. Yeah, I know my question about, about the denying, because the temple is meant to deny all of things. What does it mean? It's not like, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the denial of things, you know, sometimes people get a little confused about uh, the, the, that whole idea of nothingness or nothing exists and, and think it's like a nihilistic idea, like it's like, you know, everything is done away and nothing exists and, and so on and so forth. But there's not, there's not that idea, it's nothing exists by itself. So everything that exists, exists in relation to other things. So there's no, there are no, in the whole universe, there are no truly individual things that exist just by themselves. Everything is, everything is part of a, a large network that includes the entire universe, uh, including us. And we kind of partake, this is one of the sort of beautiful, poetic, Buddhist idea is that, is that we kind of partake in the entire universe. So what we are uh, is, is the manifestation of the whole universe, which is like, oh, really? <laughs> you know, but even scientists sort of recognize this. It's like, I remember seeing this uh, science show in, in the US where he was, the guy was talking about how the, the elements in our bodies, you know, these bodies that we have now, um, exist because of exploding stars millions of years ago. So, so the, the specific elements that go to make up our body didn't exist until these stars exploded, you know, hundreds of millions of years ago. So, so we're kind of partaking in in something much, much bigger. So, so this idea of denying things is just to, just to try to get you, not you in particular, but everyone out of this idea of thinking of themselves as kind of individual <coughs> beings that, that exist without any relationship to everything else. Because that's, that's sort of where our troubles begin, when we start to think that I am just, you know, I am me and I can go and do this without, without it having any effect on the rest of the, the universe or the rest of the people around me. Uh, and that, that's, a, that's where it goes wrong. Important to take full responsibility. So, so if there isn't you know, a denial. So um, what is the common then that uh, many people see Zen as a very Spartan kind of, you know, philosophy? Yeah, uh, in in a, in in a way, it is kind of Spartan. I mean, the, the, you go to a Zen temple and the decorations there are very. It's just brown, you know, a lot of brown and black, and it's very... <clears throat> and there's this idea of eating uh, a plain food, you know, when you're in a temple, and, and living this sort of existence without having a lot of possessions, and so on and so forth. Um, and, and so that is that is part of it. My, my interpretation of that, is, as far as sort of the 21st century existence goes, is it's, it's good to... It's good, it seems to be healthy to use that sort of idea of existence as a sort of a, 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 an aim, you know, if not a goal, but at least you're, you're sort of thinking, okay, maybe I should be a little, a little more, live with a little less, live with a little, you know, a, a little, and, and, and not be so greedy and not be, and, and, and so on and so forth. 
Um, but it's not it's not necessary to go and like sell your house and live in a box to be you know to be a, to be a Zen a Zen person. Uh, it's it's more it's more just just uh, learning to do with less and learning to kind of be content with the things you already have. You know because most of us are, are you know fairly uh, when you compare to other cultures fairly well off. Yeah, but we are always like grab more and more and that's, and that, that grabbing more and more and more just makes you kind of miserable, you know. It doesn't, you know, and I still do it from time to time. It's like, wow, there's another Godzilla toy. I already have 15 of these. It's like a little pocket, right? Yeah. So, you know, it, but the, you, you just try to, to, to pull that back a little bit. And all, one of the important things I think about the, the Buddhist philosophy is all of it is intended to make your life better. I mean, it, it took me a long while to realize that because I would think, oh God, I have to be, you know, uh, you know, and and none of that is there to try to make you more, you know, sort of stoic or you know, hard or whatever. It's just it's sort of good advice from people who found that to be a useful way to live. And, and I, I truly believe that if you could get down to the sort of Buddhist ideal of just having one robe and one bowl, and, you know, and, and live wherever you, you can find to live, if you can manage that, that's probably a much happier way to live. But I can't manage it, you know, I'm still, you know, look, it's another thing, you know. Uh, and having said that, we also live in a different kind of society, and I think there is, it's a funny thing, I've actually had conversations with Nishijima about this, where he's saying, you know, it's sort of important to some degree to participate in the economic life of the society. Uh, we need to find a way to do that that doesn't harm the world, and, and there's, a, there's, sort of, there's certainly significant problems with it. But it's also, it's also um, kind of your, your social role to sort of play to, to sort of play that part. Um, so, so you have to try to find a, a sort of balance in there. So it's not necessary to be all austere. I mean, there are some Zen people who are really austere. God bless them. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>